The prompt for day eight was layered, so I went for a kind of sedimentary rock formation. Starting off here, round cube just like normal, and I'm trying to work out a way to get the uh, the surface to deform just with some noise, give me the variation to begin with, and then I can start stretching it and adding smaller details. It's one of those uh, it's one of those shaders that you just build up the big forms to begin with, and then work your way down. So I've just subtracted noise and putting in some waves now. This is going to give me the general kind of layered texture. And then as I go along here, I'm going to add some more height to it. So I can start stretching it and do a proper, a proper stack. And I've added the waves quite early just because I want to be really clear with myself on how I'm actually like generating the, the main forms, the key forms. I've just masked off the bottom section there uh, using the Z gradient and I am scaling up the bottom by multiplying by X and Y. Trying to add some more finer details now, just scaling in X and Y again with a noise, just so things go outwards rather than stretching in and down towards the origin in a little reference so I can really understand the colors and things. And you see there's a lot of uh, salt deposit on the surface of this cliff so I'm just making sure that I've got masks in the crevices that can use that and I've used a wave texture and then put it through a snap and then a white noise and this is giving me the the rows. This is all coming off generated coordinates and that's why it deforms with the surface which is something that I really want to have happen using the gradients and noise to burn together to give me these uh, the salt masks and just tweaking values on the various noises and waves just to make sure that I've got a shape which kind of works here adding in some more noise just for the uh, the salt mask on the surface just to make sure that I've got the proper variation across everything And I wanted to tweak the scale. It had ended up quite a bit bigger than the uh, than the sphere. I'd stretched it upwards, um, so I needed to kind of balance it against itself and shrink it down. I want to keep all of my final shaders roughly the same size as I work through this month. Starting to add a little bit of the. Uh, fade to sphere and the clay wipe animation just for consistency. I know this isn't really a, it's not a complex shader this and we're not doing any separated components but I just want to have that kind of language throughout all of the shaders. I'm also putting a little bit of an animation on the Z displacement of the wave texture which you can just use the phase offset on that wave texture. And there we have it.